Hi guys, so today I'm doing my January favourites and there is hardly any beauty stuff, there's like four beauty things and it's not even stuff like foundation, there's literally like no makeup here, I just have not been wearing makeup this month, I don't really know why, I just haven't been wearing it that much but um, yeah, I also want to say sorry about my hair, I think I've got too much um, argan oil in it and now it's gone a bit greasy so I need to wash it again tomorrow um so yeah i just wanted to say sorry about that because i thought it was going to be really nice and shiny and i think i put a bit too much on so yeah but uh, apart from that let's get started and so for skincare i have been loving these two things and i've been using them so much like not just this month like this year like last year and this year i just these are my go-to face masks. I absolutely love them. I do them either once a week or once every two weeks. And once every three weeks the most. So I absolutely, ugh, I love these. Um, this one is the Mint June Lip Mask. And I got this from Amazon and it was quite cheap. It was about, mm, I can't remember. It was absolutely ages ago. It was like in July. But I can remember it was quite cheap. Better than the ones in like the stores. Um, so yeah. I got that from Amazon and then my mum got me this for my birthday in like July time and this is the seaweed iconic clay mask um by the body shop and these two together work amazingly. Um I have done a whole video on like just acne in general so I will link that down below because that's where I explain what these do more. So if you want to know more about these um then that will be linked down below. But the next thing I have been loving is this fake tan and it is the bronze ambition fake don't bake and i've just been wearing this a lot over this month for one i applied it once and it lasts like most of the month it lasts like three to four weeks so um yeah i really do like this it stays on really long and it's really cheap i can't remember where i got it from or how much i just found it in my closet and i was like oh um so yeah i really do like it and it's a little bit orange which i don't like but apart from that it is really good the next thing I have been loving is lip stuff. I just need lip care in general. My lips have been so bad this month with the wind. I mean, I thought they weren't going to be as bad as they were, but they were really bad, so I had to invest in baby lips and my own lip scrub. So I will continue to talk about these now. The first thing is this, and I made this lip scrub, and I have it on my channel. So again, some of these stuff will be linked down below. If I remember, I'm really bad at linking stuff down below. But this has saved my lips. It's literally just like... Just a load of stuff mixed together and it's really good and yeah it's just you just rub it on your lips and then you let it kind of sink in and then you rub it off and it's taken away all my dead skin and i love it and to kind of add in the moisture and just get all of the dead skin off i have been adding baby lips a lot this is the hydrate one it's just the blue one and i kind of ended up making it into more of a dome shape i don't know why but i just find it easier to apply like that um so yeah i still got a lot a lot left and i love these stuff i don't know why i was like oh mm, it's just another vaseline it's gonna it's not really that much hype but they are so good and i know this sounds weird but um you couldn't get them in england for absolutely ages so this kind of feels like a little american treat even though you can kind of get them from the shops but yeah i really do like this one this one is my favorite and i try not to use it i kind of have started on it but i'm trying to finish this one first because i got it first um and this is the mint one and it just looks like that i don't know if i'm gonna get any other ones but i'm definitely going to stick to the mint and the hydrate ones because mint and hydrateness is just my favorite all around so yeah the next thing is hair and i have been loving this and this is the hot buns i got this for christmas i didn't use it um december i just i was too busy and I just didn't use it but this actually saves a lot of time and it really does work it's just, as seen on tv kind of commercial thing but it really does work and um it literally all you have to do is roll snap and wrap and it's so good and you literally get the perfect bun like this and you get two you get a big one and a small one i like doing the big one the best and i would really recommend this if you have hair to about here show you this hairstyle which i've been loving is this and it's literally just to twist it and add a bit as you go on and then pin it up with two bobby pins and then kind of tug on it so it's a lot bigger and it just looks like a halo and i get 
tons and tons of compliments when I have my hair like this and I'm like it's so easy and it literally takes faster than this this takes like two to three minutes and this literally takes like a minute so for Christmas I got this and this is a brush set and I think there's like 32 in there and they're from Amazon because I picked them out myself and then my mum bought them and um, because I do that sometimes I pick like two or three things out myself just so I can actually have something to look forward to and not like randomly guess because then I will literally go around the house and look for my presents I don't know I'm always like that but um yeah this is what I picked out from one of them and in there so good I got a little set from Amazon and they were about 12 to 15 pound but they are really good they shred like they don't even shred they shred like once and I use them quite a lot um so I'm gonna show you them and open them now okay so you literally get so many brushes in there and you go from face brushes to eye brushes it's mainly eye brushes um and you get like a little fan brush but I really do love this because I don't really do much to my face I normally do a lot to my eyes so this is kind of perfect for me and you get blending brushes and you get flat top brushes and you just get really good brushes and none of the eye brushes shred at all but only the face ones do a tiny bit they shred like twice when I use them and I've the next thing I've been loving is perfumes and not just these two literally every day this month I've been wearing a different perfume I've just been setting it out and absolutely loving it um I don't even know why sometimes I mix and match but I normally stick to the same ones and these are the two that I've been loving this month this is the one that I bought re very very recently um I bought it with like my Christmas money and I really really do like it it's the Lady Gaga Fame perfume and really luckily it had it there otherwise I would have forgotten it um but this smells oh my god so good it smells like cotton candy but it also smells like really really mature but I don't know it's just it's quite milky as well but it's also quite strong it's just a bit of everything and I literally think if you smell Lady Gaga this is what she smelled like and can we just talk about the packaging this is amazing and I literally bought it for the packaging and I didn't know that it was going to smell good and the fact that I like Lady Gaga I didn't really care that it would smell good but it does so I can actually use it and I really love it I have a bit of an addiction with perfumes mm. The next one I've been loving is The Only Way is Essex and this is The Love Addict. Now it's really funny because I actually only wear this when I'm in like Brentwood area because my nan lives around there. So I only wear it when I go to there but um, because you know that's where Towie is based and all that. So I really do like this. It does smell like literally it smells like Essex. Like I know that sounds really weird but it smells like fresh but also like mature and it's very loud like I can smell like what the Essex is like I don't know but it, it's really weird okay now we're gonna go on to random and food and drink kind of section this is really weird and it's actually a medicine so it's really weird um it is this and this is the deflam spray and you spray it in your mouth and it looks really weird but it saved my life you literally have to go like that and spray it in your mouth and it literally gets onto your tonsils so this is what I like better than taking like paracetamols or cough sweets it literally is you can spray it directly on your tonsils if you wanted to you can put this on your tonsil and spray it but I wouldn't recommend that because then your gag reflex will come in but um yeah I really do love this stuff um it's literally saved me this month you can only get it out over the counter at the chemist so Okay, next thing I've been loving is hot drinks. Again, my throat, I would not be making videos. I would not be, like, out of bed. I would literally be in bed all month if it wasn't for these. So, I'm going to show you them. The first one is this one, and this is the mocha. And they are just delicious. It's like hot chocolate and coffee together, which I used to do. I used to sit there for ages and wait for the coffee to, you know, melt and not be lumpy. And then I would get the hot chocolate and do the exact same with this you literally just have to pour it in and mix it up and then you can just go so i ugh, I just the next two i'd be loving are these two and these are the twinings and this one is the cranberry and blood orange and my mum opened it up really weird i don't know why she opened it up like that but anyway um yeah cranberry and blood orange is so nice just really really refreshing and really good for the voice and the throat now this next one is my absolute favourite, I 
Love it so much. This is the mango and strawberry, and I've been drinking this like crazy. I don't know. It's really like, it's just really refreshing, but it's also got this like smooth feel to it because of the mango, and I love it. Okay, guys, so I'm also going to be doing music and YouTubers. I forgot about that. Um, I have been loving um, Twerk Like Miley Cyrus. It's been in a couple of my videos, and it's at the little end bit. Um, so, yeah, I really do love that song. I don't know why. It's a remix, literally, just Siri going now, Twerk Like Miley Cyrus. I just love it. The four YouTubers I've been obsessed with this month, like, literally, if they are only uploaded, I think I could just live and watch them. Obviously Shane Dawson because he is like my life. He's just amazing. Um I've also been loving Zoella. Um I've recently just been getting into her and Joe Sarg. Oh my god, he is just god. He is really good looking and he lives quite near me. He lives like five hours away from me and it was really weird because one of in one of their vlogs they were in Highlands park and I go there quite a lot and I was like this is really weird to watch this um but yeah it was really cool and I just felt like oh and Jim Chapman I don't know if I'm saying his last name right but he is just he's a legend he is a legend in a human body he's just oh my god he's mind-blowing amazing and I just I have also been listening to a lot of Shane's podcasts um wouldn't recommend if you take offence to like swearing, drugs and all that lot because he does talk about that a lot. But again, if you watch Shay's channel then you're used to it. Um and I'm also been loving Snapchat and Instagram. Um they will always be linked down below. Okay guys, so that was my January favourites. I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was kinda long, um but yeah, and it wasn't that much beauty, but um that's just the things that I've been loving. Comment down below your favourites so I can get some more and everyone can kind of come together and just comment down below and like this video if you like more favorites and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more and i will see you guys later now twerk like miley cyrus Now twerk like Miley Cyrus.